All right, look, AdamandEve.com. We love it. Uh, who wants better <clears throat> sex? And who wants to start having better sex immediately? Duh, that's everyone. That will be everyone, I think, probably. The best way to get started is to go to AdamandEve.com right now. Adam and Eve is offering 50% off just about any item, plus free shipping, which includes rush processing. You get it quickly. More than that, Adam and Eve wants to make your life easy. They offer discreet shipping as your privacy is priority, plus 100% free shipping with rush processing on your entire order. That means if you want to get like a dildo or something like that or whatever it is, some uh, 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 jelly, you know what I mean, All whatever it is, sex foam, whatever you want. You get it. It's discreet. Nobody knows what it is. Yes, dude. It doesn't matter how much you spend or what you buy. It will be packaged and sent discreetly for free and fast. Uh, 50% off one item, free shipping with free rush processing. Uh, So go to adamandeve.com and select any one item. It could be an adventurous new toy or anything you desire. Just enter offer code LIFELINE at checkout. That's LIFELINE, L-I-F-E-L-I-N-E at adamandeve.com. This exclusive offer is specific to this podcast, so be sure to use this code LIFELINE to get your discount, 100% free shipping, and get it fast with rush processing. Code LIFELINE. A fart or, you know, a fart. Even like the smell of shit in a house. Is it so okay, it's you know, it's just to mention there. it's obviously a fart. I don't get ones thing. like this, honestly. What do you think? What do you mean ones like this? Oh. You're the one who let it through. A fart. Well, I mean, I want to let them through because I want you guys yeah, to I understand. eviscerate them, really. God. <laughs> wow, playing God, playing God. <laughs> Runk. Do you want the orange he one? Did. He goes, cool. Do you want the dude, green one? Yeah, okay. No, I don't want any of them. Um, Loser. Dude, my me. leg hurts today. And you're and you're in a bad mood because of it. That's not why I'm in a bad mood. Oh, you're in a mad... Tell everybody why you got in a bad mood. He got in a yeah. bad mood right before we started recording, and I could tell he was about to fucking blow up. I, and, Oops, and I take back that F word. And you know what I did instead? I said, guys, I'm getting frustrated. Can we just start the show? Yeah, but I could... Because maybe because I'm your brother, I knew. That Already you were like on the precipice, that. I know, but that's what exploding. But, but my point is, before that's what, that, yes. But I know. the look on you, I was like, "That's I know that look." But the yeah. reason, yes, of course you do. But the reason why I said I'm frustrated when we start the show was to let people know. I get it. A strong comment. Right? So you've been therapized and you're doing better. Yeah, and I get that's that. Exactly what it was but saying. I'm stressing the point that I already knew anyway. I know. I understand that. But that's, I, you already made that point. They don't necessarily understand that. Which is why I said what I said. But what happened is you started agreeing with me as if you knew what my point was, but you didn't. And then I had to go back and say, no, that was my point. And that kind of got papered over. So I want to say it one more time, clean. Don't say it again. Without being you've stepped on. But both times it got compromised and stepped on. I don't think it did. I think everyone honestly knows what happened. Okay. So, so you don't have to say it again. I don't have to say it again? No, I think everyone knows what happens. And I think that everyone also knows that I know what you were saying. Okay. And then I said something different. I just knew because the way you look on their face. That's fine. I already knew that. Okay. That was the third time, but I'm done. Okay. But I, I figured you knew even because of you're my brother. They might not have known that, I, that them? you figured that. The audience, not them. The audience cares? didn't even see it. We didn't even have it on camera. It was beforehand. No, it wasn't. We got that on camera. No, 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 no. Not the me being frustrated part. Yeah, right. Correct. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Well, I had to illustrate it. Yeah, I think you're just honestly, dude, you're dead wrong right now. I I don't think you understand. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, You know what I'll say? This is what I was getting frustrated about is we're launching a Patreon. Yes, you can sign up right now, dude. Patreon.com slash lifeline luxury. That's what it's called. And um, it's starting, you know, we're starting when we want to start. Uh, we know we're halfway through the month, but we're, you know, full-fledged firing on all, c- well, c- let's say cylinders, uh, July. Uh, I'm sorry, June. June, Oops. which is next. I didn't mean to say July. I don't know. They, they shouldn't have two months with, to start with J back-to-back, honestly. And four letters. Do you and agree? And J-U. They're both J-U. I agree with and that. Do you four agree letters. with that? You said it, so you can't agree with the thing but you But I'm said. saying about how you said Four letters and J-U, oh, so, and I didn't say that, so I'm giving you credit. Oh, okay. So do you agree that it's they shouldn't have that? July should be somewhere before December. It just... Uh, I'm, I'm kind of down with, like, the cute 
like lightness Together? of the June JJ, the summer vibe. It, like it gets you into the summer vibe with like the two cute. They gotcha. Okay. Well, they got me. Okay. Yeah. Whoever made the, I've the, been gotten. Mr. Months. By the Gregorian calendar makers. Yep. Okay. Yep. So uh, they got gotcha. you. And um, we are starting a thing on Patreon where we're going to do uh, at least two episodes a month. Um, uh, they are called Lifeline Luxury. And they are half hour episodes uh, or so. You know, there'll be maybe some some longer, some. Well, no, they won't be shorter. But um, and uh, it's just going to be Matt and I. Uh, no, no call-ins, no nothing. Just being just just bantering. Right. Got Doing some stories up our sleeves. Right, yeah. We'll be, life not, stories. Got yeah. some future stories that haven't happened yet that we'll be able yeah. to. A lot of people like what we do the first 10 minutes of the show, mm -hmm. which is just us kind of, you know, sometimes it's five minutes, sometimes it's 10 minutes. We're going to do full, uh, at least half hour Patreon two to, at least two times a month. And it's called Lifeline Luxury. So patreon.com slash Lifeline Luxury. Sign up. Definitely sign up by June, but it's live now if you want to do it. Uh, if preach. you want to sign up, we preach. Yeah. Um, so anyway, that's what's up. So yay, congratulations, yay! Uh, my tour nice. is at chrislee.com. I'll be in Nashville. I'll be in Pittsburgh. I'll be in all sorts of different places: uh, Pueblo, Colorado, uh, Boise, Boise, and um, Utah soon. Uh, but anyway, go to get tickets. Chrislee.com, Philadelphia. Let's do it. And uh, and you know, if you want solo sessions with your boy. About it, about it, uh, Zoom sessions. I was going to say phone, but it's actually Zoom sessions. Mm -hmm. You can look at my face. I can look at your face, and we can get down to the nitty gritty one on one at mattalia.com. Book your session now. Uh, and then you can leave us a message on the hotline, 213 973 8095. Or you have a question, click the link below or go to watchlifeline.com. I wonder why that TV is I on, also right? wonder that. Because I got to keep doing this, yeah. right? And that's uh, something that absolutely should have been. Uh, I also for wonder. For sure, that. started if before I'm, we started, right? If I'm being totally yeah, honest. Yeah, let's be honest here. If we're just going to be lay it down, be completely honest. This? I just hit this totally uh, the way he's dealing. With totally it. agree. Yeah, but yeah. it's not, and that's fine. But that's what's up. So uh, too many okay. letters. Too many letters. Yeah. Oh, Roku. see, those aren't. That's not. Nope. He's doing it. So uh, it's fine. So anyway, uh, uh, let's up. get back to the actually the what we were talking about is not the Patreon, but my leg hurts. But also the merch. Get your life. Get your merch at yeah. lifelinemerch.com. Yeah, it's very good merch. So, uh, and I, by the way, I see people on the road. I was in um, where was I? Cincinnati and uh, Columbus. They have the Lifeline merch too, and they like you. They like oh, you. Oh, nice. You know what? Someone came up to Hand me. Hand stuck to your face. Someone came up to me at Whole Foods yeah. the other day uh -huh. and said, "Ooh, very rich place." And said, "Are you Matt Delia?" Hmm. And I said, "Yeah." I, I mean, I'm, it's possible to recognize me from a lot of different things because I've been in a lot of different things. Okay critically acclaimed stuff sort of stuff Franklin for the and Bash. sort of stuff like like this for the people monk don't okay. forget monk okay um and uh i said yes and he said it's cool to see you standing up so it's obviously from the podcast uh, i know because but it said, took like well, did you play a paraplegic in franklin and Bash? i needed to yeah it was so believable yeah he thought i was really in a wheelchair no dude that is such a weird thing to say first. It's kind of a cool thing to say. Are you Matt Delia? Yes. Huh. Cool. I've never seen you standing up. That Wait. Hold on. That's what happened. That's different than it's cool to see you standing up. What did he say? I've never seen you standing up and it's cool to see you standing up. You're two different things. And I think one of them is oh, a cool no, thing it, to say. Yeah, one it was of I've never seen you standing up. Yeah. Now that is yeah. not a cool thing to say. Yeah, that's okay. a weird thing okay. to say. Yeah. Hey, it it's weird. cool to see you standing up. Now that's a cool thing to say. And that's a good, sexy guys say stuff like that. Like me. Oh, oh. Sexy well, guys I wasn't like really like thinking that. about it on the sexy right. scale. I'm just thinking about the weird scale. Never seen you standing up before. It's like, I felt very studied. I yeah. felt like I felt on like under a microscope. Yeah. Well, welcome to my world, man. That's why I said, keep walking. You said keep walking? I said keep walking. No, you didn't. Yeah, that's I said, so yeah, rude. Matt D'Elia, keep walking. Those are the only two no, things no, no, I said. No, that's so rude. Yeah, you know, Matt D'Elia, keep walking, man. <laughs> no, 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 no. It went like this. Hey, are you Matt D'Elia? Yeah. I've never seen you standing up before. Keep walking. That's how So rude. The yeah. rudest guy of all time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, so I will say uh, uh, we're glossing over the fact that my leg hurts, and that's not cool, so honestly. So you keep coming I don't know back to your leg hurting. I want to know why is that interesting to talk about. So here's the only thing that I've done differently in my life. And this would make a lot of sense, but then I have a caveat of when my leg hurts. This could make a lot of sense. Leaving. <laughs> Slow, leaving. Trying to get away so with thing. leaving. Yeah. So this is this would make a lot of sense, but I want you to wait for the caveat. Okay. Because I heard might, you. Okay. Because if I just say the thing, you'd be like, well, that's obviously what it is. I get but it. But I have a caveat. I know you okay. learned the word caveat today. <laughs> so I did Lime Scooters for hours in, two days so in a row i did lime scooters i did lime scooters two hours two, two days in a row for hours now doesn't that sound like that would make what my leg hurt right 
Oh, I see. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Right? Yeah, Here's yeah, the caveat. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you said you wouldn't do that, so here's a caveat. You asked. I know, but I'm saying if I didn't Was ask. Was that a test? No, no, it wasn't a test. I get it. Okay. That's on me. But here's the caveat. That was Saturday and Sunday. It's going to make you mad at what I say. And it is Wednesday now. It's going to make you mad at what I say. It, I don't know what you're going to say. And I'm pissed. At, and I'm, I, I'm pissed. I know. Preemptively. So Go ahead. So tell him what I'm going to say. He's going to say, yeah, sometimes it takes a while for things to start happening. And it's probably the sort of thing. Yeah. I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually especially true when there are muscles that you really... Not ones that have atrophy, <laughs> but have, are like less commonly used by you. Right. You don't use your leg muscles. You don't walk anywhere. You don't get on a bike ever. You don't. You don't do. You don't run. What? For I'm exercise. Johnny jumps a lot, dude. I'm I'm, I'm you stacked. What? You what? I, I I do jumps. I'm great. What is a jump? What? Well, a jump is jumping. I jump. I, mean, I do what are you, jumps. What are you? Six years old? You no, jump? I'm saying I I I work out sometimes. Uh, in during the workout, you jump. Yeah. To where? Like how? What? You're working out and you're like, okay, now now I'm doing jumps. <laughs> jumps is a good workout, dude. I jump uh, I on boxing. I believe you, but I don't believe that you do him. You, you don't know, believe you that I do, you do the boxing. Yeah. You didn't say No, that. I'm not like just like, oh yeah, we're the weights. That's the what weights. I thought you were saying. Like what if you say jumping, whoa, whoa, whoa. So everything's so light. Everything's so light. So strong. It's bouncing all over. Um so <laughs> so yeah, so anyway, so that's what's up, and that's fine. But I, I bet I was there. Yeah. Right when you were screwing right. around. Right. Oh, right. I, a I first, you, an eyewitness, yep. an eyewitness. I bet you you hurt yourself when you almost fell off the scooter. Okay, well, so. Oh, now we're airing it. Now the truth comes out. We have a witness and you got screwed over for that. Let's just, I didn't fall off the scooter, no, okay? It sounds like you almost David, did. first of all, David fell off the scooter <laughs> and rolled and tumbled on the grass. And we went like, blah, 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 like doing that. It was so funny. We have it on video. We'll have it. How did you not? Dude, I'm so pissed at you what you're saying how could you not tell me that i'm telling you right now but how could you wait this long to tell me it's like your leg it's like it took four days for your leg to start hurting how could you wait four days to tell me that you have on video our friend david sullivan who has the largest skull bone yeah in the world and he's fat did the earth crack when his head hit the ground no but i will tell you what wow it's gonna it, it's it's well i didn't get it with my phone we got it with the actual camera so it's gonna be on the vlog oh so i'll send you the vlog when it comes out it'll be the cincinnati columbus vlog whatever it was but oh, wow. but dude it, it the tour report but dude he fell and, and i mean oh my god it was so fucking funny so and sam, it was sam right got it he got oh it he got camera. it wow and i watched it happen it was right next to me he rolled past me <laughs> 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 he's 46 dude he's 46 what did he say the first thing after he got up like, oh man <laughs> but when he was on the ground was he like Oh, they, did he, uh, he, was he, he was defensive? Like, he was or? smiling. No, he was oh, like laughing. Okay, good, yeah. good, good. He, he Damn knew it. He knew, I know, I know. I good, wish he was. I, I know, I wish yeah, it yeah, like, yeah. hurt a little too much. But he, he was rolling and couldn't stop <laughs> and and was smiling as he was <laughs> about to fall because he knew he was fucked. It was great. <laughs> that's, it was great. It was so good. That's great, but that I still wish he like, was nervous. Got a, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Like or, or, or like wanted to make it seem like it he knew that was going to happen or, or, or it didn't hurt. A big deal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. That's always the best. But no, it was great. It was still funny. It's, it's still all high hilarity, but so yeah, it'll be on the yeah, vlog. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. so make sure you sign up to my Crystal Day channel. But um, so plug it himself. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But uh, so anyway, so that's what happened. So I think that that might be what my leg is. But if not, it might be, uh, you know, who knows? Maybe it's a fucking huge. Why would tumor. your leg hurt because David Sullivan fell? Were you guys like, so, twins uh, so in a bad I wanted movie? him to know that the reason why I fell is because of, um, the, no, the reason why it happens, David fell. I did not fall. I know that. I get it. It almost fell. And what you did. I wouldn't say I almost fell. But did you almost fall because it, David almost hit no, you over? No, no, no. It was separate. To, it's a separate thing. So why are you so denying it? Because so I want much, people to know that like I'm. 10 miles an hour, what you had to do to stop yourself from falling is you right. probably twisted your knee or something like that. Oh, uh, I mean, yeah. That's see, how I could you happened. leave that out? Me? Yeah, I you. don't even remember that happening. Well, he's but now not I leaving do. it out. You're the only other one talking. I, I didn't think about how it happened, okay. and now I remember it happened. Okay, wow, blacked it out, blacked it out. Dude, but I don't know if that's what it was. Couldn't bear to think about it. Anyway, there are four days ago that that happened, and now my leg. Yeah, dude. All of yes, because you don't use your legs a lot. That's why I do use my legs a lot. I do jumps. Okay, but anyway, dude, I'm fit. But <laughs> we should go sign up for Lifeline Luxury, patreoncom slash Um and uh, and we're going to do episodes just where we just do that. And mm -hmm. not take people's videos and submissions. Mm -hmm. So, because mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people like that part of the show exclusively, so that's what we're going to do. For well, we asked, "What would right. you want to hear if on we had another?" Yep, and a lot of people. Yep, said yep. That. A lot of people said exactly what we're going to do. Yep. So you're welcome. Yeah. Put your money where your mouth is. And keep it moving, right? Isn't that what you said to the guy? Keep it moving. Keep no, walking. Keep walking. Keep yeah, walking. yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Cool. All right. So uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's take some first submissions. Let's do it. 
Pedro Pascal. Matt and Chris, hello. Big fan. Robot. Chris, I saw you in Oakland a few years back. Nice. Matt Delee is confused as one of the best podcasts oh, of wow. all time. Thank oh, you. Wow. Thank you. Here's the dilemma. My friend, who is very lonely, went on Facebook a while back and was looking through his friends' friends lists oh, no. and finding women that he could hit up for nudes. Not nudes. the way I would go about it, but to each their own, I wow. guess. Okay. Just he one ended nude. up sending nudes to this person who he thought was perfectly legitimate. <sighs> And after exchanging the nudes, they sent him a message I back asking coming. him for $500 yep. yeah. or they would share these nudes with everybody on his friends list. Yeah. After paying this person, a few weeks passed and they came back asking for another $500. You don't say. This cycle repeated until he paid them, I think, $2,500 and then they stopped reaching out to him. They did. A year or so has passed right. now. And they are reaching out again for more money. What should my friend do? Should he continue to pay this person who is threatening him? Or should he just say, fuck it? Let's <sighs> moment of silence for this absolute moron <laughs> before we dive in here. I mean, how dumb. Why do you want to send and receive nudes without even like, no, like you don't go online in general, Farm Marshal Bill, and try to find like, People to send people to exchange people have different kinks though. I guess. Yeah, I mean, I guess. I mean, I definitely know women have told me like men send unsolicited dick pics so often, which blows my mind. Whoever got a dick pic and was like, huh, I think I like this guy. I've never never happened. I've never in my life sent a dick pic. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. That's so I just I don't I don't trust that shit. So you're um, the opposite of this guy. You yeah. haven't ever sent one even, even to, to your people wife. I know, yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. So so here's the thing. The Actually, guys... maybe to like friends I have like to you. Okay. Or like Okay, well that's yeah, but not not needs an zero women. That you know, deserves an explanation, but I'm gonna All pretend right. it never okay, happened. Cool. But like um, one time I put a cloth over it and I said, Oh no, there's a ghost in my house. Uh, and I sent it to Brian Callum. Okay. Well, I believe that. Um, it's really scary. <laughs> so uh, um but 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 i have a friend that this has happened to mm-hmm. uh, i do too yeah a, a it's, comedian it's, it's common yep. so your friend's even dumber for that reason it, it's a thing that people know about it's a scam it's like that nigerian sc- yeah, gold yeah, yeah, scam yeah. or whatever the fuck. i think it's not as known as the nigerian thing maybe not but but that just like the nigerian thing mm-hmm. still works i guess this still happens yeah it's gonna uh, work there's enough people out there and i think you know obviously he made a mistake by paying anything to begin with you're toast it happened. It's coming out. Yeah. The end. That, oh, that's your. That has You're to be toast. your mentality, right? Yeah. It happened. the The photos are going to come out, and that's that. I guess. But I, but it's mm-hmm. possible that that they would never do anything if you just ignored them. That is. Possible, it's possible right? they would never leak anything because, like, they're not getting money. It's just. It's more work. Your for whole them. thing is it's going to come out. If it's going to come out, the money has nothing to do with it. Yeah, basically. I mean, the, the, but I'm saying the, that's the way you need to think. Mm, so let's erase the 2500 $2, You already did it. It's already in the hole. It's already gone. Ta-ta. Mm. Bye-bye. You're never going to see it again. Bye-bye. Don't need to do all that, but yeah. Uh, I don't really bye-bye. don't like the last bye-bye. But. Bye-bye. $2,500. That's okay. gone forever. Right. Yeah, that sucks. Kiss a goodbye. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Jada Thanks kiss. for coming. Loved having you. Jada kiss. Sorry to see you go, but all you're right. gone. All good. Okay. Um. So now you're back at zero, and you're going to say... No money for you. Yeah. I'm done. If you need to do it, do it. If you, you know, whatever. Uh, but don't message me anymore. I'm going to give you no more money. If you have to blast my photo to everybody I know, so be it. No, I don't even think you should but say then, that. But okay. then, they're not going to do it. Well, they might not. But this is what you do to ensure that they don't. Oh, okay. The way you say that yeah. is like this. Send it to everyone. Right. And then don't say anything else. Go ahead, send it to everyone. Bye. Don't, don't hit me up anymore. I think that's the way to probably, really make sure. Probably, yeah. Right? Yeah, because you seem like, yeah, you, you, leg- you yeah. legitimately don't care. But yeah. he, they already know he cares because he paid $2,500. Right, but people grow and people change and maybe now he doesn't care. So fuck it. Also, here's the other thing, dude. This guy has, you maybe tell this guy this. Uh, you don't, who cares? Who cares? It's. I get there's the shame involved. Or like, I sent a nude, but honestly, I've never sent a nude. That's an anomaly. It's very rare that nobody, it's very rare that you find somebody that's never sent a nude, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, sure. So yeah. who cares? They all know they, they've secretly done it. So who cares? I don't, I don't get 
I mean, it, unless you've got like someone, some seriously someone, small penis or some shit, which if, I don't. If do. this if this somehow happened to me, I need a wide and, lens. And somebody was like, "I'm going to show everybody." Yeah. Oh, if you don't pay me five hundred dollars, I would just be like, "Can't wait." Huh? Yep. Like, can't wait. All right. All right. Can't wait. You're dude. not going to get my money. Yeah, I know. I'll do you it. You know what I mean? I'll do it. Uh, actually, you know what? No, stop. Stop right there. Let me do it. Yeah. Then I would blast the exact same photo of me to all everyone in my friend group. Take pictures of his screenshots as proof. Send it back to that guy just to show him how much I don't care at all. Right, right, right. I, you I would, know? Yeah. But we were also very different in that whole who cares confidence thing. You know? I don't I don't know if it's... A, I'm not taking it from a confidence standpoint, mm -hmm. though. It's actually just like a common sense standpoint. Mm -hmm. They're never going to stop asking for money. So do you right. have endless money? Not, no. no. Right. Yeah, so you not. only have one alternative right. is to kiss them goodbye and say... Yeah, but don't do that. Off this. with you. Yeah, okay. Off with you. Right, but I I think that um, it's just I had a buddy that that this happened to, and he said, "Oh no, I guess just send it to everyone because I'm not going to pay you." And and he said that, and the person never did it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I didn't mm -hmm. see. I didn't even know that, but yeah, um, it was an idiot. He's an idiot for doing it. That well, which part he's an idiot for doing? For for, doing for sending a picture to somebody that he didn't. Well, I don't. He so didn't know them. Unless that it's your girlfriend or or something. Or boyfriend, well, and obviously, then okay. Obviously, but, that's okay. But if it's somebody any less than that, don't ever do it. And also, don't do it if it's your girlfriend or boyfriend because they're they do lie. It. And they well, first of all, do it if you want. It's if it's someone you think you trust, like whatever. Life is short. Yeah. And and who cares if something goes sideways yeah. and like? But just like, don't look for people you've never met to exchange news with. Yeah, that is exactly. stupid. Exactly. But that's somebody. But that's his kink, probably. So it's like, oh, fuck. I mean, that's yeah. a strange kink. Yeah. Well, there's strange ones out there. Anyway, your friend is an idiot. And already messed up but moving forward he doesn't have to keep being an idiot mm -hmm. he can stop yes, being an idiot and from now on be less of an idiot right all right yeah. so give him that advice fr from us to him sealed with a kiss yeah. okay yeah okay cool all right next one <laughs> what if hey, it's what's the up, dog, chris the and dog Matt. starts talking chris um i know you used to train jujitsu back in the day which uh -huh. is crazy to me because I couldn't imagine you rolling around with a bunch of sweaty dudes. Oh, wow. I like that. But kind of uh, I train jujitsu full time and I'm injured right now. And uh, I just want to know scared. how you guys deal with like when you can't do your passion or yeah. your job yeah. due mm. to an injury or like life circumstances. Like when something is so pivotal to your life, yeah. uh, that's like an anchor that you do every day. Mm. When you stop doing it, it like you kind of feel like. Well, what am I doing with my time? So yeah. I'm just kind of curious what you guys would do. Any advice would help. Love you guys. Chris, I saw you in Austin and it was amazing. Oh, thanks, so bro. Keep killing it. And thanks. Thanks, bro. How yeah. much does that guy look like he does jujitsu? Yeah, he does look you like You know what I mean? Yeah. He, I uh, bet he's good at it too. Um, well, he does if it's just full time. Right, thing. right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. Well, when I did, that was actually, I was thinking about this the other day. Is, I was thinking about the other day how weird it is. I agree. It's weird that you like that no it's not it is from the outside obviously it's not to you no but it's not because though. you know it to be but true but if you know the deep side of me and i'll tell you why well maybe you need to be more open about your deep side because no you're you're an enigma and a mystery and you i should like one-on-one -on -one stuff what does that mean like i i don't like sports people usually think like oh 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 people no, usually that's not the reason why that. okay okay yeah okay. It's the, it, and i think same with him it's the closeness of physical contact and i the, like and the that mixing kind of stuff. bodily fluids and, and weirdness of yeah a lot of calm. potential weirdness you know um well yeah but also fuck man there's some weirdos there uh so and i love weirdos but yeah i was just thinking about this the other day That's how true. much it sucks for people who do like combat sports or 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 martial arts how much time like when you're injured, you don't get to do it. That sucks, dude. It's happening. It happened to you back in the day, didn't it? Like yeah. you got something. Well, you're, you're, so your knee, you know, they say if it? you're not hurt, you're not training right. But uh, yeah, my knee. Yeah, I got knee, knee surgery. But yeah. then, uh, you know, I don't know. You have to figure out. I don't know what your injury is, but it's like it. Obviously, it's all part of it. So, you know, they say that a lot of the advancement in even physical stuff has to do with you thinking about it while you're not doing it uh mm. which i always thought was interesting but um yeah yeah i, I you know it oh, that's just, interesting yeah. yeah like take the time that you would have yeah. been training to think about right previous training sessions what could have happened differently yeah. how you could do totally. certain things at certain times that's that's actually a good point yeah yeah so there's that it's not as fun obviously but um but it also isn't gonna have the same effect on your brain like you just like you're not no you're sitting there not moving right. but but 
if you're worried about productivity versus yeah. none, like that, that is something. Yeah, but it also helps in a different way, I think. Yeah. You know, so um, you, you could be thinking more critical about it rather than just reacting in the moment. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, my passion is, you know, stand up, but uh, I, I, I took a break from it for a, a few months. But, uh, you know, I... I don't know. It's uh, it it was okay. It was okay a year actually. I, I said, well, I don't know how long. I, yeah, I didn't do it for a year. But um, I mean, I was dealing with other shit. But like, you have to like, you have to just learn how to be okay with it. Maybe that's part of it, dude. I mean, especially with martial arts, they say like a lot of it is in your mind, and a lot of it has to do with you know. So maybe I, just the waiting part will help. Yeah, I think you. I think you actually do like do yourself some kind of favor and not think about how much it sucks that you can't do that other thing and know that you assuming it's a long-term injury and it's going to take some time to come back from it you're going to have to find something else that at least sort of somewhat fulfills you mm -hmm. and i would just say be open to what that might be instead of sitting around being upset that wow. you can't go train anymore think of it in this way i i'm going to just be i'm the reality is i'm going to be out for x amount of mm -hmm. months or weeks whatever mm -hmm. I need to find something else mm. and then find it. The, some of the most interesting things that I either think about or read about or look, have read, like look in, looked into, uh, have I've stumbled upon because I was like, what I think a lot of people call being bored, mm -hmm. but that's why that stuff isn't boring. Like at any second, you can stumble into something that you're yeah. really interested in. Yep, that's how I got so, into cobbling. So give give yourself a chance, I would say, mm -hmm. like uh, to find something new. Yeah, you know what's cobbling? Cobbling is making shoes. shoes. Uh, oops, I knew it. I want to know. I didn't knew it while you were saying it, but I was insecure about knowing it because uh, I thought maybe it was okay. wrong. But we said making. I go shoes with you because right. I figured I didn't like shoes. it what you did though. I, it doesn't, but but that's necessary for me. So let's go to the next one. Stop always thinking I'm looking at you. I'm looking hey, at man. Hey, Chris. Uh, my name is Didi. Um, I guess my question is, uh, late at night, my roommates will get up and turn the AC on. Oh. Uh, they'll blast it. I get it. It'll be like, um, you know, maybe 54 degrees outside, which is pretty cold where I am. And uh, they'll, they'll, um, they'll, they'll make it like 65. Oh, sometimes. This hits close for and, and sometimes 69 what? as well. This hits close for um, which is not, you know. You, know, you don't do that. I know that that's wrong. I guess my question is, what do I, uh, what do I say to them? You know, I don't want to be a mean guy. I appreciate them. I think they're nice people. I just uh, I don't really know how to, how to go about that because it's, uh, you know, it's cold. All right, thank you. I mean, how much does that guy sound thank like a radio host? I mean, and, he's also an actor in a, in movies with Molly Ringwald. Yeah, well, he just he's got such a good voice. I mean, that guy should hundred percent be on the radio. Yeah, have his own podcast. Yeah. You got to you got to. My advice to you is start a podcast. No, look, that's horrible. Did you say that this call was for me because you know I hate that shit, Mako? Yeah. Uh, you wake up and put the fucking heat on. That's fucked up, dude. 64 degrees? But then you got to be hot and uncomfortable. Like, no, I, I love that, though. It's not... Oh, well, but, okay, you, you but that's not what he... Never put the air on if... If it's 54 degrees outside, you, there's no reason yeah, to ever, open ever, a window, ever, bro. ever, ever... Yeah, yeah ever just tell the guys, hey, why don't you open a window? Yeah. This is bullshit. I wake up freezing. I'm going to get sick. Yeah, it's also very, very possible. This is true of most dwellings. You could very easily be in the room that has the worst circulation for the air and it just oh, comes out and yeah. ices everybody no matter where you are in it or what yeah. time of day, whatever, what it's like outside. They could be in a room that has like worse, like eff less effective cooling off of the room. You need to right. let them know yeah. that your room gets freezing and also... It's already cold outside. Why can't you just open a window? If he hasn't let them know, know at all, yeah, that's then up. that's what you say. You say, yo, right, what's up exactly. with your room? Yeah, yeah, I yeah, feel yeah. like, because this is my room is really cold when you put the air down. So maybe you could just open up a window. That's the move. But if you've brought it up a bunch of times and they haven't said anything. I don't think he's brought it up. Then Yeah, I don't think so either. But if you haven't, then you got it. Then it's war all out warfare. Sure. Break the thermostat. Yep. Break the thermostat. Break uh, their legs. Yeah, dump ice in their bed when they're sleeping. Oh, yeah, you know, in their fuck shoes, their moms in their shoes before. Yep, ice in their shoes. Yep, steal money from them. Steal money from them. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Stuff good. like that. So we figured it out. Yeah, I don't know, man. Do you like? What do you like your temperature at? Oh man! If you could pick I'm one pretty... temperature, what would you like? A oh, true 70, temperature. Seventy. Actually, 70, what it is? Full stop. 70. Right. Okay. So what do you put your thermostat at? Because you have to put it either seventy. Up... I yeah, put but, it at seventy. But then it'll dip. 
And then when it does, it comes back up to 70 or back down to 70. So 70 is what So if it's hot that. out, I put the AC on 70. Okay, so what I like if is- If it's cold, uh, I put the heat on got 70. Got it. Yeah. Okay, so that's very, uh, how do I say it? Rudimentary. You're regular, yeah. That's very rudimentary, but it's rudimentary. It's though. crude. It's simple it's, though what you do. Yeah, it is simple. Right, but I do Why it would I complicate my body it, because, because things are a little different. Things are, the bodies aren't so, aren't so simple, are they? Well, from body to body, I guess not. Yeah. Right. So even, even honestly, one body, take one body, that's not so simple. I don't think that's your point though. So yeah, that's true, but My point continue. is that you need to have some sort of finesse with it when it comes to the air. Dude, I totally agree. Okay. You got to have the right touch. My house happens to be like that. Got it. Got it. it. Okay. It took me a while to realize. To realize that your house's finesse was just kind of kind of rudimentary. It also depends on what room I'm in. If I'm in my bedroom, right, of it's course. that. Okay. In other rooms, it's different. Okay. Um, I have, um, I like, so here's, here's my thing. I like the temperature 74. Okay. That's what I like. That's the temperature I like. So you never want the AC on because rooms are rarely nope. that hot. So I put the heat on 76 or 77. What a maniac. Because it doesn't dude. go up there, does it? No, because that would be rudimentary if I thought that I should put it on 74. But then it's, it also goes up to 77 and, and as in it never turns on. As soon off. as it gets to 77, it cuts. It goes back down to 74. It never gets below 74. Oh, see, that's not my. I know that's my what move. I'm that's, that's a finesse. With is it. don't let it be above or below, depending upon if it's too cold or too hot. I you got you. Can't you need the very minimum to be yes what you like, right? Oh, but then but, don't but, you like seventy seven? No, it's a little hot. So but, why are you setting it at seventy seven? If I set it at seventy four, it'll dip down to seventy two. No, it'll it won't. That. Yes, it will the do. Min the second it goes below 74. Because the it'll... different rooms in the different houses are different. Well, that's because you got to make sure the thermostat's in the right place. Right, but, yes. but you don't do that. You just get a it. house. And... I did it. When I got my house, I did it. I said the thermostat goes there. But that doesn't mean that that's where the vents go. The vents go where the vents are already. You bought the house. No, no, no. I had to put in AC. When Seriously? I got yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, for real. Okay, so that's house, why it's so rudimentary. House was built in like 1908. Wow. Nobody ever thought to put AC in. Back then they were the just... The first small. summer I lived there, it was the Sweltering. most miserable thing really? ever. Yeah. And then wow, dude. It's it's uh, peace on earth since then. All right. New one? Yeah, I think another one, yeah. Hey Matt, hey Chris, uh, I'm Jillian. Hello. I'm Hi, sorry, Jillian. I'm driving from work, but I just Very can't dangerous. stop thinking about this question that I oh, have like to ask therapist. you guys. Really? I need your yeah. advice. Uh, I'm an ER nurse. I'm literally leaving work right now, Whoa. and cool. I'm trying to get out of Virginia Beach. Um, I've been here for three years, and I don't think I would need to it's be nice here there. anymore. Um, so I applied overseas, got Whoa. a job in England, Whoa, in Cambridge. Cool. It's a three-year contract. Whoa. Um, the only downfall is the, sh the pay is like shit. Oh. Uh, to the point where I'm afraid that I won't be comfortable nor be able to travel like I would plan yeah. to if I went there. So I also applied back home to San Diego and got the job offer Flew. that yeah. also includes a $100,000 sign-on bonus, which is pretty much unheard of for a nurse. So my question is, Jesus. if I should be practical or not, do I go back home where my family is, get that money, and actually have money to travel with, or do I go have an experience in England and just say fuck it? No. Anyways, help me. Oh, please. definitely go to San Diego. <sighs> really, bro? Well, I'm trying to take into account what she thinks is what would be best for her, not what would be best for me. I would obviously go to San Diego, but she right. is someone who wants to travel, wants yeah, to try new things. She could travel with that money. She, I guess yes, yeah, she could, but she could also be. In a new place, yeah. Which for three is, years, I think, she has to. Exciting, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I don't know. Something sounds fishy about that England shit. Like, a, like a horror movie. Setup? No, no. Like, you have this romantic idea of what it's going to be like, and it's just not going to. Oh, be of like course, that. it's not going to be that. Right. No, that's true, no matter what. Though. Right. That, Even what, if it paid what, more, it's worth pointing out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what San Diego is like. You're from there. It's God, the weather's also. I mean, San Diego's weather is, is absolutely yeah, it's unbelievable. The, the greatest. Actually. So I say go back there, make that money. Uh, yeah, it, look, if you're going to make more money, yeah. and so much. Also, to, a lot more money. Right. So much to the point that you'll be able to travel yeah. anyway. I mean, that seems like a no brainer. Yeah. I get why you are hesitant to do that. But yeah. let me tell you something about like being back where you're from. Mm -hmm. It's not as bad as like movies and TV shows act I like. I totally it is. agree, bro. It's just 
a place you know really well. I totally agree. Unless something truly traumatic happens to you somewhere, right? It's just a place. Uh, yeah, I do. That's like such every a great other place. place That's know? such a great point. So yeah. Also, so- also, you. It's not like you're not in. You're. It's not like you're going to Fargo. You're going to San Diego, which is a place you know. Yeah. It's it's beautiful weather. It's near L.A. It's near you know. It's near a lot of other places. Like it's also where you're going isn't like Paris or or, or Berlin. It's like a place in England. She didn't even say London. True. So Good. it could just be anywhere. Yeah. And and places in England are anybody ever been depressed? Okay. Yeah. Imagine exactly being ten times that. Yep. And having every go, time you open your eyes and having to go like this a lot. What? <laughs> and then and you see their teeth and they're all fucked up. Well, that's for sure. But yeah, yeah England, it has its great things like London yeah. and that's it. And I, lo- I love it. I'm, I'm not bad mouthing England. Like I love it. I, I, love- I know I am. Oh, okay. I am. Really? Yeah. But you've but, been England? But it doesn't matter. The point is she might want to go to England and that's cool. But like this could be in a place, this could be like slough. You know what I mean? Like it's, yeah. you don't know where you're going to be. Wait, wait, you've been in England. I mean, you've been in London. Where else? Oh, that's it. I haven't oh, been like okay. around it. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm too so scared. These Google, people are the Google images? scariest, uh, generally the worst people on earth. Wow. Why do you say that? I think they're naughty, naughty, bad, bad inside. Naughty, naughty, I think bad, bad? something about growing up there, you just, you're naughty, naughty, bad, bad by the time wow. you're an adult. By the time you're an adult. Children, I feel bad for them, but it's something, I, the vibe of that place. Whoa. Scary stuff. It's deep. Creates monsters. England creates monsters. Next video. Okay. <laughs> All right, cool. That'd be a good uh, title for the episode. <laughs> hey, Matt and Chris. 12. Pod. I know I have a scab on my chin. That's you okay. seen the other guy. But uh, my question Don't is... Don't point that out. My name's Aaron, spelled A-A-R-O-N. Yep. Okay. And I knew at that because least the way you 47 times a day, I, I get, like, what's up, A-A-R-O-N? <gasps> what? B- blood boiling. What? Yeah, yeah. Every time, blood boils. Yeah. So what's what's a good clap back or a good spin move to when someone calls me Aaron? Say hey, di- dipshit. So yeah, I just I'm hey, tired small, of it, small cock. and I want to stop. <laughs> I really need some help. Yeah, have a have a litany of them ready to go though. Like yeah, that, yeah, those bunch two. Of, yeah. The dickheads a small cock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tub tubbo. Yeah, yeah. Short you know what stuff? I think about all the time, huh. and I hate to do this because it's sort of like. It's like bigging you up, but Thank whatever, you. so be it. You, when you remember uh, Kean, everybody listening, you yeah, know, you remember Kean? Okay, <gasps> one time he said, "Wait, what is this?" You, one time he said, "You were like friends with him, so you guys." Yeah, were like oh yeah, 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 yeah. He but is, one time he, he, he like went over the line and he was like, "You got a big ass nose." Oh yeah, and then you were like, "You said something like," and I'm paraphrasing, so maybe correct me. Yeah, at least I don't have a big ass. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, that was good because he was kind of fat. He was fat, yeah. so it was good. Smashed him. Who's Smashed Kian? him. Oh, I'm so, so jealous. jealous. So jealous so that we jealous. had another friend when we were younger. Ha, ha, dude, funny. Um, who's Kian? Kian was great, man. He's a cool dude. I love him. He was him. just He's some really dude nice guy. Yeah, with, with, a, with like a Play funky basketball. last name, which is I know the his only last name. People, I'm not going to air him out, but yeah. The only people that he ever hung out with in high school, they had funky last names, yep. dude. Or yeah. first names, or p- parents that didn't speak English. <laughs> you know? My but mom not even be- funky last names because like they had immigrant names. Like even the... Yeah. Right. The the more American sounding right. things was always that's what I'm saying. Do. Or because mom would be like, you know, it's really great you're making friends here in L.A. When we moved to to from um, so, so Southern California from New Jersey, she's like, but I can't be friends with their parents because they don't speak English. Yeah, that was a real thing. I'd yeah. be like, mom, I guess you're gonna have to pick up a fucking language, huh? Yeah, gotta learn, pick up some gotta Japanese because Morgan Doizaki is a really good friend. You gotta learn Polish for Idis Matis. Yep. You know, was that Polish? I thought it was Russian. No, he was Polish. Oh, right. And he his sister, sister right? was in my grade. Yeah. Right, because so that's they what I'm saying, so you know. exactly alike. In fact, she was so beautiful, but it was upsetting to look at her because she looked so much like Idis. Oh, really? So <laughs> much like Idis. <laughs> wow, yeah. man. All right, well, yeah. that's what it is, man. Uh, hi, Idis. Hi, Morgan. Hi, Morgan Kian. is his sister? No, Morgan is your friend. Morgan Dozaki. Yeah, why are you willing to say his last name, but not Kian's? Because because I didn't because I didn't want people to think I think the Kian had a big ass. Oh, I'm saying Morgan Dozaki was a very right, good right, friend. Right. That's why no, I'm saying no, no, good no, things. But, but that was also when we were young. He might be. He, uh, you know what? It wouldn't surprise me if if Kian was very handsome. He's okay. probably he's by fat. So okay. uh, <laughs> all right, next. <laughs> Threw him a lifeline, then took it right back. Chris, hey Matt, love you guys so much. Oh, you um, look like such a nice person. This brief. I had a boyfriend, and we were having a house party last Saturday, and so we got the house ready. I helped him clean. I bought us a lot of alcohol. We made some jungle juice. And Jungle juice. Wow. he made it sound like such a big deal that I was there and like meeting all of his friends and he knows I have social anxiety. Uh-oh. So I told him these things and I hate parties. And so I told him these things that would help me mm. and to make me feel more comfortable and just not freak out. Yeah. <laughs> and 
the first person that got there, he didn't introduce me to them or to anybody. What? And then from that point on, once that first person got there, he wouldn't stand by me or look at me or talk to me, include me in his conversations or anything. Like at one point, we were literally in the kitchen and he got everyone a shot except for me. Like, and I was standing right there. And it was like, what? Why the fuck am I here? Like, um, but yeah, so that was pretty shitty. And we were supposed to be moving in together. Mm-hmm. Like, my lease is up super soon. And I thought we were super great and solid. And apparently, we're not. So, any advice? And I get that it's his house and he had to entertain people, but like, I was his girlfriend too. You yeah, know? Uh, so that's a bit extreme. It was just that's super awesome. weird. So, any advice on that would be great. Okay, it um, here's one thing weird. just to consider. First off, uh-huh. maybe he forgot. Forgot what? That she was his girlfriend. Just just during the party. No, nah, no, no. You don't think that was it? I think it's really weird, and it's hard to argue that that wasn't intentional. If it was... It, it probably... I, I want to say it wasn't. Uh, you're just how yeah, weird you're inclined is. to, but I, if that is just... If she's just spitting facts, right? that's impossible to believe there wasn't some kind of intentionality to what he was if, doing. If, if exactly what she is saying is true which is obviously there's it's always somewhere in the middle so we'd like to hear what the guy said but it's i doubt you're mi- she doesn't sound still angry about it though so true, I, true. my sense is she's telling the truth or at least it's understandable that that would be her version of it does that make sense yeah yeah, yeah. i'd like to know that like what she must have brought it up right that's. I mean, but I, I want to know how, if you didn't bring it up to him. I want to know what how, what his reaction is like when you bring it up, and if you did bring it up to him, what was his reaction like? Because that's um, really weird, and I feel like uh, yeah, I don't know. Here's the thing. Like here's the thing that I in did they to break be up? the most generous? No, because she said I had a boyfriend. And that's how she started it. I had this boyfriend. Uh, she, at the end, she implied that their lease is coming up. She thought everything was good, but now oh, she's not sure. Okay. That's the vibe I got. Okay. That's what I understood, mm-hmm. rather. Uh, before she f- totally finished, mm-hmm. my initial thought was he probably is, because I, you know, I know people who have never experienced a single moment of anxiety. <laughs> and okay. I mean, that's a lot of people. Yeah, a lot I know of people, people like too. That. Yeah, I know people and, like that too. It's just crazy. And, I wish. And they, they cannot, they cannot, not that they will not, not that they don't want to, not that they want to disrespect it and poo poo on it, mm-hmm. but they cannot understand what it is. Yeah. You true. cannot explain it, define it, get it. It's not possible. Yeah. It's not an experience they can have. So they need to listen to you. And sometimes that just, it's not that they're trying to be rude or dismissive or even not pay attention to your needs. They, it just, for a lot of people it can't register it doesn't make sense and it's not that they're not trying it just like bounces right yeah. off of them as for the social that thing being said yeah it's still dick he should at least he that should make him go the other way yeah and be like hey, hey is this so cool I mean, like are yeah. you cool are you cool are you okay like am i being like am i introducing enough people like are you happy everything okay you know the fact that he got everyone a shot except you Again, it should be the opposite. You come over to her. Do you, uh, you need to think? Can I help you? Like she I know you got you ten shots, and then filled you up. Wow! And then, <laughs> and then put her to sleep. Put her in a room her so he didn't have to deal with her. Her anxiety wouldn't have been, a, you know. Yeah. I just think you know you are right to be deeply perplexed. Mm. I just think go go into confronting him about it, which you have to mm. go into confronting him about it, not with anger, but with like with that. Yeah. confusion yeah don't don't be a, as you are and deserve to be upset try to show the side that is more just plainly confused like i told you we talked about it what yeah. happened like what happened yeah you know definitely do that and let him respond and depending upon how he responds that's gonna dictate how either angry or you know understanding you are moving forward why do you have a blue chips hat because I saw it and liked it, and I loved the movie. I th- you know, I think about this movie all the time. Why? Because you have the hat. No, because I remember distinctly thinking I was so excited to see it, and I was begging Dad to take me, and he took me on opening night to Aww. see Blue Chips, starring Nick Nolte, Shaqu- Shaquille O'Neal, Anthony Hardaway, Is Christian Leitner, JT in it? Walsh. Uh, no, that guy looks like Christian Leitner, but no, he's just yeah. an actor. He oh, sucks. Really? Yeah, he sucks. What? He sucks at acting. Yeah, yeah, he's terrible. Well, he was just it? like a, an actual basketball player. That oh, was like oh, an amateur oh, somewhere. Yeah. yeah, okay. 
Yeah. Uh, there were three main basketball players in the... Leitner is a cool last name, huh? Leitner, yeah. Well, you kind of cut me off and... Okay. You asked me a question and then... Okay. I was kind of answering it and then you just slammed right. me. It was a yes or no but, answer. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, Blue Chips is a great movie. I think about it a lot. It's it's personally meaningful to me. Because of the opening day dad thing? Yeah. It's like it's, I have a th- really strong memory of the whole thing. That's And when awesome. I saw the hat, I was like, that's perfect for me. Oh, cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I wasn't like looking for a blue chips hat you know right right i took it I, I took calvin to uh see mario the other day i didn't even know there was a new mario movie until you told me that well you live under a rock it made a no nope. it made a billion dollars so i i know that uh, now okay because i did my homework um, after i learned about it yeah and then i took him today to get his haircut and it was so cute man and Are those I, two stories related well my yeah my point is those core memories those memories oh, oh yeah you never know when they're gonna pop up but I think as a dad, you want to try to have as many of them as you can. And it was so funny. We were playing. Mar- we were watching Mario, and, and and he was like just watching it. And then an hour in, he says, "Is it over yet?" Oh wow, that is funny, yeah. dude. And I was like, "No, do you want to go home?" And he said, "Yeah, let's go home. Can I bring my sprite?" Wow, what, what happened? Nothing. That he's just three. He was just and done. Doesn't do yeah. movies. Well, no, he he. I mean, it was like an hour into it, and he sat through a whole movie before in the theater. Yes, but yeah, but and then uh, we we left, and I was like, "What did you think about that movie?" He said, "It was good, but it was a little bit scary." Ah, yeah, yeah. And then I said, "Well, who's your favorite character?" He said, "Bowser." And I said, "Why?" Oh. He said, "Because he's scary." I said, "So you like Bowser?" And he was like, "Yeah." And I was like, "I don't understand." Whoa, okay. yeah. so conflicted yeah, 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 yeah. already. Yeah. You know, Bowser's like, gonna be such a deep adult. You know, yeah, I know. She's like Carl Jung yeah. as a three year old. I like it, but I like it for a bunch of different reasons and not just because it makes me feel good. I like to explore the shadow in the Mario movie. Yeah. The shadow of self. Yeah. That's okay. That's what he said after that. Go ahead. All right, next one. Oh, my God. Parrot, hey, Matt. Hey, Chris. Uh, long-time listener, <laughs> short-time fan. Uh, my husband's big fan of the podcast, so shout out to him if we can. Love him. Uh, my name's Tabby. I'm from Iowa, and our debate lately has been homeschool versus public school, oh. uh, private school, if you want to throw that in there, too. Uh, but we're leaning more towards homeschool or public school just because we had our first kid. It's going to be a little while. Um, but she was due the same day that Chris became a double dad. So hey. congrats. Oh, cool. Um, yeah. What are your opinions? Homeschool versus public school. And um, if you guys want to ever come out to Iowa, that would be pretty cool. Uh, have a good one. Thanks. I'll just At teach your kid. I'll, I'll just teach your kid. Um, perfect for me. I, I think homeschool is, I, I know times are changing. I You know, I think more people are doing homeschool now, but like, I just feel like you get so much with other kids. When you do, but I think it, if it's homeschool, you got to make sure there's tons of other planned social activities, right. whether that be, you know, sports or yeah. what are the, I mean, I don't even know, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, I don't yeah. know, but I things like that yeah. where they are still thrust Rhyme into scooter. situations, not by choice, that they have to yeah. socialize and, you know, work with compromise yeah. and all those things, learn those skills, uh, sharing, all that stuff. But I will say, you said times are different now. I do. I would be really, really selective and careful about the public school I sent my kid to, just because things are so crazy right now. Uh, and if, if really, if the public school wasn't the real deal, wasn't good, right. and that my in my bones I knew that, I would figure out some way to homeschool. What about private school? I mean, if you can afford it, right? Great. I know it's very expensive. Yeah. But like, who the hell can afford private school? Right, right, know? right. Well, she did say throw that in there. I but know, but I, know. I assume yeah, that it's, it's going to yeah. be a bank breaker, even if you can't afford it. You, you know? So you would, you would do that homeschool? I would a hundred percent do that. But here's the thing: I'm really smart. I could handle that. You wouldn't be able to do that. What? You know? <laughs> Meaning, uh, you could be the teacher? <laughs> no, I could oversee it. I'm not the actual teacher, but I could. No, I could teach it. I could teach science. I could teach social Here science. I could teach music. I could teach music. I could teach dance. I could teach history. I could teach world history and American history. Okay. I could teach English literature. You know, just say a I lot could of teach stuff. Russian literature. All right. And I could teach Russian comparative literature. literature. Go ahead. Yeah, between Russian and English literature. Um, hey, it's time for music. Here we go. Oh my lord. Sing along with me. Oh, Lord, Lord. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Not gonna sing that, you know. Oh my lord! First one, lord, lord, lord. First exercise. Here we go. Uh-huh. Wow. I mean, it's not Christian school. It's glory. That's from glory. They're sitting around the campfire. 
The movie Glory? Uh-huh. Oh my lord, 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 lord. Did you recently watch Glory? Uh -huh. Nope, I always remembered it because I knew I was going to use it for a joke. Wow. Yep, I do that. I do it's that. like me and blue chips, but your version of it. I you know, know blue chips. Yeah, okay. I, made a, I got a bunch of jokes about blue chips. Okay, I just chose well. not to do them. Okay, well. All right. So let's see what's up with the next one. Uh, Yeah, that. that oh, that, boy. That hey, Chris. Hey, Matt. Too close. In his mouth. Um, I've got a question. Holding for you it with guys. a dad on his apple. This is it. So sexy. Yesterday, I was um out with some friends at so a bar. Close. Right? And after this bar, like we were just walking out. And then we just bumped into another person. This is how Calvin Page She was a woman and she started talking to us. And it was great. It was a back and forth. I hated forth, it. Blah, hated blah, blah. it. And then suddenly, in this group of five, we there was this, uh, someone fired. Like, oh. really bad. Like, the smell was just fucking terrible. Okay. It was, it was awful. Okay. And seconds go by and no one mentions it. Uh. Just, I'm just... I think it's one of those smells that need to be mentioned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I it's get it. It's so strong that how can you not? How can you ignore that? Yeah. And I was just in this turmoil, inner turmoil, well, conflict of should I say something? Should I should I shed light on it? Should I make a joke about it? Because everyone's smelling it. Everyone has to be smelling it. Right. But no one's mentioning it. So what would you do in that situation? Is it okay to In mention? that situation? Um, no. Is it okay to mention uh, that you smell something? A fart, or you know, a fart, even like the smell of shit in a house. <laughs> is it okay, to you know, it's just to mention there, and it's obviously a fart uh, intruding? I don't disturbing. get ones like this. Honestly. What do you think? What do you mean ones like this? A fart. You're the one who let it through. Dude, the way he says fart is just F A, and then a bunch of H's. De fart. De deaf. A fart. Fart. So what? You don't get ones like this. What do you mean you don't get ones like this? Well, I mean, I want to let them through because I want you guys yeah, to I understand. eviscerate them, really. God. <laughs> wow, playing God, playing God. <laughs> so, I mean, I would just say, I, here's the answer. Yes, it's okay. He, <laughs> is it okay? You, you know what I mean? You're basically asking, Ace Ventura, you're basically asking somebody, Is you're asking us, is it okay to mention you smell something? The answer is resoundingly astoundingly obvious the answer is yes the the most dick game show host of all time <laughs> um i think that you uh, uh first of all let me just say this yes it is okay a hundred percent and that's fucking obvious mm -hmm. but how many times have you been like oh you smell that and someone's like no Oh, all the time. So yeah. I wouldn't assume everyone Me smells too. it. That's the first thing I thought, actually. Yeah. yeah okay, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I think this guy is really off on that. Yeah. He just thinks his nose is like, a, what, what is he, like two years old? He hasn't gotten through like I know. the realization he of might the be self and the other. Because that is how Calvin does videos. <laughs> it was so close. Um, he zooms out. It's just like a baby's body. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I dude. think that that's, that's the... Everything's all right. Everything you might smell, even if it's a fa. Then Dude, so insecure good. the guy. Is it okay to tell people I smell something? Did it, you know? Y yeah. Also, you know what they say? I, Whoever I, smelt I it and submitted a video, dealt it. I don't believe that, but also dealt it. Whoever smelt Dude, it, dealt no. it. I get it. But what if everyone else in Britain, or wherever he was, was just like this? Uh, should we? Uh, everyone, everyone yeah. was just like, I don't know. Should we? Should we say something? No, we don't say something. Did you get other videos of the same fucking situation with, from other guys? Oh, I got fart the other day. Do I say it? <laughs> Smell it. Doubt it because I know smell it, don't and I don't want to say something. I don't want to think it's me. <clears throat> what? <laughs> I mean, dude, you know that's just absolutely fucking astounding that he sent that video in. But it's okay. You also pull it back. Just pull it, pull it back, pull yeah. the hand back. It's gonna be okay. Why? If we see your yeah. neck, it's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. If we see what your head is on, it's okay. Yep. You know, don't run or don't smash it in your face. All right. Do we have another one? Uh, yeah. All right, oh, quick God. one. Uh, Lightning round. Uh, Hey, Dangly Earring Boy. Hey, Chris. QVC. There's a guy at my work that constantly sniffs his nose every five seconds. And I was thinking about maybe putting wet cement up his nose. Okay. <laughs> Let me know what you think I should do. I can't even. I know. Uh, dude, it drives me nuts. And, and it's almost like... Uh, if you're on a... Did that happen to me on a plane a little while ago? Uh -huh. The guy wouldn't stop sniffing, dude. And I, I was losing my mind. I was I was actually looking at him like, because I wanted him to look at me. Yeah, right. And yeah. he never looked at me. But here's the thing. If you're willing to be that confrontational, why are you not willing to ask him? 
right? It's the same thing to me. I had a reason. Ask him. Ask him. Because it's, ask him. You know why? Because the, this way, the looking thing is more me. And I, and I, I want him to be like, I, you know why? Uh, it's a trap. I want him to be like, why are you being a dick? Like, why are you looking at me like that? And then I could be like, oh, well, it's an anomaly with how much you're sniffing. So you doing that is putting like the meat out for the leopard to snatch into there so you, you go. can trap it and kill That's it. That's what I'm doing. Okay, so you're trapping leopards. I it's also it. the sexiest way to do it. And I'm okay. constantly Ooh. thinking about how to be sexy. Yeah, you actually are. Uh, so I think if you work with somebody, there's a way to do it that you're not going to be a, you might be a little bit of a dick no matter what. I mean, wet cement, you know? But there's a way to do it without being a tremendous dick, which is I've, noti- I've noticed you like, or you're always like sniffing is like is there like something going on like yeah. are you all right not yeah not like is something wrong with you but like yeah is hey you do something... coke yeah <laughs> you just do that no i mean it could be something as simple as like i have a constant post nasal drip yeah which would right suck. right and right then you but wouldn't be mad anymore. no you wouldn't be mad anymore no you, you know? there's reason okay yeah exactly but you which is like... why you can ask because then they'll be willing to tell you if there's no reason yeah then you can just if he's just like no i don't know what you're talking about you could be like oh what if I he was? Oh, what if? Oh, what if? Oh, I hate you. Yeah, and that's it. What if know? he was like, "Why do you keep sniffing?" He says, "Because somebody obviously fired, and I don't know if I should admit it." <laughs> admit Dude, it, you know? I think that um, yeah, it's maddening. Definitely bring it up, or you can say, "Hey, man, what's the deal with? Uh, where do you get it?" And when he's like, "What?" He'd be like, "I oh, never mind." <laughs> and then later on, I'd be like, "Where do you get it?" And he'd be like, "What? The coke, man? Like you what? have a fucking hard coke problem." Like you what happened to me? What at the Clipper game? What happened to the I told you about this. Game. What? I was, this was a long time ago. Did you so tell us? Did you tell them I don't yet? think I said it on the show. Stop me if I have. Uh, Ooh, the audience? No, Call them. Call them stop them. Them, obviously. The people that are with us every episode. What? The audience? Um, and I, I was at a Clipper game with he, Dad. I know. Wow. Clipper game with Dad. Go to the bathroom. Some guy with like a nice leather jacket, kind of a mock turtleneck. Yeah. Uh, beard but like trimmed super manicured and like short hair that's the same length as his beard yeah I remember him like it was yesterday I see him making the line toward me okay which is common at a sporting event you think people are maybe walking toward you but they're not this guy definitely was walking he, towards you yeah so by okay. the time he got to me I was like what kind of mm. in my body you know wow yeah and he and so I didn't say that though and all he said was do you have any coke come on and, and, and I swear I, I, I was like I was so shocked, first of all. And so I just told him the truth, which was no. Right. And the this is the reason why it's a story. Why? He looked at me and actually actually said this. Really? <laughs> like I just <laughs> am Coke guy. What if you cut to you and you had just white powder all over your face? <laughs> Wait, where were you? Where how old were you? Uh late teens, maybe, or yeah. What? Like, like 17, 18, probably. Yeah. Mate, not 20. Dude, I wasn't even 20, yeah. You must have been like, doing I mean, something. I just he must have saw you. Just I don't know, dude. Maybe I looked like his, like I don't, I have, I don't even have a guess, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you look like somebody. Yeah, I don't even have a guess. That is pretty freaking. But he crazy. was stunned that I didn't have any coke, uh, wow. or didn't have any coke to sell him. He was like shocked. He's just like just so rude to do that. You know what I mean? <laughs> like so rude. You're, you're, you all, all you're doing like, is saying you look like a guy who yeah. does coke. A piece of shit like you? Yeah, right. That's wow. basically what it was. Yeah. Unreal. Okay, well, yep. that's a funny story. I don't remember that. I mean, yeah. I'm sure you told me that, though. Yeah. There's no way uh, you haven't. All right, cool. <laughs> well, that's it. Well, you know what? You can sign up for our Patreon, patreon.com slash Lifeline Luxury. Yeah. Uh, you get to get Chris, uh, Chris Lee tickets. That's me, chrislee.com. I'll be in Nashville. I'll be in Colorado. I'll be in uh, Boise. Oh, Boise. I'm starting to say Boise. That's Boise's right. right. No, it's Boise. <sighs> Um, Pennsylvania, Montreal, all sorts of places in Canada. Uh, and if you have a question, go to watchlifeline.com or leave us a message on the hotline, which is what we just did, 213-973-8095. If you, can, you, if you want, mm-hmm. if you want, mm-hmm. and you should want, mm-hmm. one-on-one session mm-hmm. with me, go to mattelia.com. Mm-hmm. We'll sort it all out. And uh, also, uh, the Lifeline merch is at lifelinemerch.com. Uh, we appreciate it. How about you leave a... Uh, uh, what do you call it comment and uh, make sure you're subscribed that helps us out we appreciate you guys thank you very much